good morning so it's the same location i realized that i haven't spoken to you for a while so hopefully you will meet the sunrise together so with me this morning uh last sunday it's eight a week after pentecost i was asked to preach at the monastery by my colleague father peter who was traveled elsewhere the protodeacon uh, and the gospel major gospel was the one from matthew chapter 14 verses 14 to 22 where uh, christ was traveling around his land which is uh, the seashore of uh, in Galilee of the Sea of Galilee and he was followed by multitude of people and people were marveled amazed by his personality by his teaching unfortunately we couldn't be flies on the wall to be there uh, would be amazing because gospels they capture uh, some of the records but I'm sure there were other things that didn't really reach us so the day was dying and uh, disciples they showed that they were concerned for people and they said to Christ why won't you send them you know to buy their stuff to eat so they need to support themselves to feed and he responded he kind of brought it right to the point like so you seems to be concerned about people but why won't you take care of them? And implying here what is implied elsewhere, or like said directly elsewhere, that if we human would have sufficient faith, it wouldn't have an issue for us to feed all those people. So disciples, they could not really do anything and we know that it's only at the, after the resurrection of the Lord they realized that he was the Son of God despite witnessing all those miracles they still somehow perceive him as a human or like the only human so he multiplied all those loaves that disciples had and feed this multitude and there is like particular historical point of reference, the number of uh, people, not counting uh, women and kids and children, and the number of those loaves that they, that they had. So, I mean, the, the number of leftovers, baskets with leftovers. So, seems to be like historical account. So, if somebody writes, uh, you know something i like try to make it up i don't think that's the way to do things right mentioning particular number of baskets with leftovers so after that the next uh thing that happens that uh having done with this having done with feeding those people christ decided to cross over the lake and he was in boat sleeping resting after the day and uh, Peter uh, had to walk toward him and while he followed on Christ's command he was fine once he realized what was going on he started to lose control and started to sag, to sag, to be sagged down, started to drown down. So, and it's again, 
Christ pointed out to the lack of faith and we know that this was ongoing ongoing thing to the point that Peter he was terrified and when we I mean he was terrified when Christ was crucified and uh, people recognized servants of the uh, high priest recognized that he might be one exactly from this area of Judea from Galilee so and this is very human just very human very normal probably so what can we say about us who not even eyewitness of Christ who based on tradition that was passed down to us through generations right so but we try to develop our own experience in church our own experiences in prayer something that our intuition says to us that we are on the right track but at the same time those stories they might sell serve as some point of inspiration some point of reference along the lines of another uh, gospel saying i believe lord help my unbelief amen so hope to talk to you soon and thank you very much for staying tuned i really hope that you are having good restful uh and peaceful uh the month of august bye bye